everybody, and welcome to Taking Control, the ADHD podcast on Rashpixel.fm. I'm Pete Wright, and right over there, ready for summer, Nikki Kinzer. Yay! Yay! Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness, it's time. It is. Time for a break. Actually, that's why it, that's that's the deal. We're, that's what we're talking about today is summertime. What are we going to do? Summertime. Yeah, yeah. What are we going to do during the I, summer? How are we going to make good use of our summer and not freak out and actually accomplish right. some things? And have the best summer ever, right? Yes. That should be our, everyone's goal. Have best a great summer. Summer ever. ever. Best ever. That's what I say on all mm-hmm. my yearbooks. That's have right. a great summer. <laughs> Best friends forever. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that is what we're talking about today. Before we dig in and uh, and really unleash the excitement about our impending vacations, head over to TakeControlADHD.com. Get to know us a little bit better. Listen to the show right on the website. Subscribe to the mailing list. And that's really important today, this week, this episode, more than any other episode in history and we'll tell you why in, uh, in a little bit. Uh, and, uh, and and connect with us on Twitter and Facebook. We'd love to hear from you. Leave us a voicemail. It's the final rose. It, it's the final it's, it's, rose. It's yes, the most it dramatic rose ceremony ever. Bum, bum, bum. That's what you sound like. Yeah, you sound like that guy. I don't watch that show, but I, no, I remember. of course you I, don't. When I used to. No, I, right, of yeah. course. Well, yeah. I know people who watch it. That's I'm sure that's it. Uh, yeah. You can connect with us on Twitter or Facebook. Have I said that already? And leave us a voicemail, 503-664-4ADD. And join us. Get your voice on the show. That's it. Okay. And, well, I have another request. What's the other request? If people like the show, what should they do? Well, there are a couple of ways they can show their uh, show their appreciation for the show. And, and one of the best ones still, the very best way uh, that people find us is through the iTunes or, or Apple Podcasts directory. And so if you go there and you sign in with your, your iCloud account, you can leave us a review. A five-star review would be greatly appreciated. What a better way to start the summer than telling someone else thanks. You can tell us thanks, and we would greatly appreciate it by leaving us a five-star review. And that is helps other people discover the show later. You can do the same thing now in Google Play, in the Google Play Store. You can leave us a, I think you can leave us a review or comment there. That's another really uh, great way to help us and and help Android users find the show. But I can tell you, most people still find us through, through the Apple Podcasts app, yeah. Yeah. Well, and it's so nice to hear from people, right? I mean, I know for uh, for both, I'm going to speak for you, Pete. Go ahead, guys, okay. go ahead please. <laughs> but it is, it's so nice to hear that people appreciate it and they are getting, you know, a lot out of our show um, and it inspires us to keep going too. So it's just, a, it's just so nice to hear from you all. Oh, it really is. Yes. It's delightful. Yes. All right. What all are, right. Let's, let's talk about summertime. Well, I have, I'm kind of all over the board a little bit. So, um, bear with me. I was thinking about summer. Okay. What do I want to talk about with summer? And I had a few different things. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to throw them all in there. It's, it's not just about vacation. It's not just about your schedule. It's about everything. That's right. That's right. (laughs) That's right. So I'm going to talk about a little bit of everything. Um, but first I want to remind people that if organizing their space is a goal this summer, that I, uh, want you to check out the latest online training. Yes, over at the website, yes, yes. right? Um, and of course, it's called Organizing Your Space Your Way. Um, and we want to take away the guessing on how to organize because this gives you the step-by-step plan. So I want people to check that out. It's a great opportunity to learn how to organize and uh, get some stuff done this summer. So go look at that. Yes, go look at that. That's check the it first out. thing. Right on the website, first yes. thing. Check it out. Do it on your time. It's a great compilation of uh, that, that makes up the whole system. That's right. And I'm in it too. You are. You you have like a special guest appearance. Day in the life. Day in the life. You get to spend a day in my head. Yes. How's that? All right. Oh boy, that's now scary. Now let's talk no, about I'm summer. Kidding. It's Jeez. not scary. I heard that. I was under your Sorry. breath, but I heard it. Okay. All right. Going moving on. It's summertime. Yes. So, you know, summer means different things for different people. It really definitely depends on if you have children, if you don't have children, uh, what ages your children are, you know, summer can look different for everybody, right? So that's why I'm kind of throwing in a bunch of stuff today. So, uh, but the first thing I want to talk about is planning your vacation. So in our downloads under Take Control ADHD, if you go under products and there's this little tab there that says downloads, uh, we have a great vacation checklist. Now we've talked about this checklist before in the past. This has been on the website for a while, uh, but it is such a great starting point for people to uh, look at it and think about, okay, what do I need to pack? What do I need to do to set up my home uh, or get it ready to go 
for me to leave it, right? Mm -hmm. (laughs) What Mm -hmm. to do with the dog or cats or whatever, all the way to things that you want to do when you come back home. Um, So that is a great list. I highly recommend it. So people check that out if you're going on vacation. That's the first thing. Where I'm using it. I'm using it right now. Awesome. It's great. Yes, because you are you are going on vacation. Yes, I you am. Little lucky dog. Yeah. Okay. So then the second thing, um, this was brought to my attention because I was talking to a friend of mine and we both have the same age of children and our kids are a little bit older and actually they're the same age as your kids, Pete. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so, you know, our, our kids, because they're a little older, they can do a little bit more around the house, right? I mean, we're not talking about toddlers here. We're talking about teenagers and preteens. And so one of the things that she was going to be doing is she was going to have a uh, kind of a meeting, a family meeting, and really talk about the structure of summer um, and the schedule of summer because it's different for for the kids. And talk about, okay, so what are the chores and what are your responsibilities going to be daily and weekly? And really kind of put together some kind of structure. Now, her idea was all the chores and everything needed to be done first before they could get on video games or, you know, any kind of electronics. So that was sort of the rule that she was going to put in place. Um, there was also, she was going to schedule out during the week, some reading time. And, uh, there's some websites to practice your math as well Mm -hmm. that she was going to do. So, I, you know, I just thought about this and I thought it's such a great idea, um, just to kind of have some structure around what, their days are going to look like, especially if they're just at home or if they're with a babysitter at home, what you want them to do when you come home from work, what, what do you want to have done? Right. Um, the other thing in our house that we had to kind of build a structure around is bedtime because I do have a teenager and he likes to stay up really late. Boy, that, so... that, t- that changed fast, didn't it? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Like I know. one day, one day they were fine going to bed at eight and then yeah. the next day now it's, it's like 1130. Uh, later than that, my Is it friend. Really? Oh, goodness, that's <laughs> oh okay. yeah. It, well, he loses track of time, and so whatever it is, whatever it is he's doing, usually it's video games or watching a movie or whatever. He doesn't realize that it's that he just started the movie and it's one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I'm like, okay, if you finish this movie, it'd be three o'clock in the morning. And yeah. that doesn't work. Right. That doesn't work. So we had to uh, structure some kind of rules around bedtime, still being flexible because I know it's summer. Um, but, you know, two, three o'clock in the morning isn't going to be an option. So those are the things that we had to do. Uh, we also had to kind of set some rules around friends coming over during the week because I work from home. And I can't have a bunch of people running around, you know, behind me where my office is. Uh, So we had just kind of, you know, set some rules around that. Um, And then I think it's a great idea to ask your your kids, you know, what do they want to do in the summer? What are some things that they would like to to see? Maybe it's a park or a hike or they want to go to the local swimming pool, whatever it is. But just kind of get an idea of, of where they're coming from and what they would like to do, too, I think is a great thing. So... Family meeting. Family meeting. Yes. We do, what, so uh, our chores, we, you know, we have a hard time with chores uh, right now because both of our kids this week are in camps and they're all day camps and they're very active camps. And so, you yes. know, we've got basketball camps. They come home at the end of the day. They're exhausted. Now, on the upside, they're going to sleep at a normal hour. Uh, you, you know, on the, mm-hmm. the downside is they, they come home and they just collapse. And so it ends up being, if we try to push on the chores, it ends up being a fight. Like we've had to really balance that, um, you know, that, that exhaustion to our expectations of what they're able to accomplish at the end of the day. So I just, I, I just throw in that idea of balance that, you know, it's, it's hard. I'm the one who's around the house all day. So for me to, to say, Hey, you know, empty the dishwasher when I really needed the dishwasher emptied when I was alone right. uh, in the house, you know, get, get, apply some balance. Yeah, absolutely. That's all I'm saying. Yep. Sounds good. All right. All right. With that being said, that balance, uh, don't overbook yourself, right? It mm-hmm. is so, that's the third thing I'm going to talk about, not overbooking yourself. Yeah. It is so easy to want to please everyone. So somebody says, Hey, let's do this this summer and let's do this. And it, it just goes by so fast. I mean, our, our July is booked. Like we have no room to do anything else yeah. in July. And so I think, um, before you say yes to anything, um, and we've talked about this before, just take that pause for a moment, you know, wait, don't, yes, don't respond right away. 
just say, Hey, you know, thank you so much for the invitation. Let me get back to you. Um, and then you can go home and you, yes, you can reflect on how it fits in with your schedule and Pete, you're going to like this. How does it fit in with your priorities? There right. You is this That's important? Stuff. That's right. Is it important? And how does that fit in? Um, and then you make your decision and then you can come back you know, and either say, yes, this is a great thing or, you know, I, I can't do it right now, maybe another time or however you want to do that. But I think it's just really kind of, um, checking in with the impulsivity and not saying yes right away. Um, because you want to have to have, you know, you have to have some downtime too. We don't want to just be doing, doing, doing all the time. So. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to have time, especially a a time when it, during the summer, it is, it is so much easier to find that time than in the fall when everything gets crazy again. And I know for some people, you know, summer is as crazy as every other, every other time of the year, but you can use this as one of those sort of ceremonial transitions that we've talked about in the past. It, it's like setting, you know, goals at the new year, use summer to be intentionally reflective. I think that's super important. Yes, absolutely. All right. We, uh, we did a whole show on this last year, um, about relaxing on Mm -hmm. vacation. Do you remember Mm -hmm. that? You might even want to put those in the, put that in the show notes. I think that would be a great thing for people to listen to again. Um, but it's really about not when you're taking some time off, don't forget to relax. Right. And that's hard. That's, that's really tough when you have ADHD. Um, so I think that there's a few ideas that I have here. If you are taking a vacation, you want to give yourself, you know, plenty of time to plan. So get that vacation checklist out, um, do everything you can not to wait until the last minute, because that's when it's so stressful. Uh, and you're dealing with that right now, right? You're like, Oh, I'm trying to do three oh, things, you know, yeah, three days horrible. of work in one. And yeah. it's hard. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> yes. yeah, it's really hard. No doubt. It is. So, you know, I think trying to plan as much as you can, obviously there's always going to be last minute stuff that's going to happen. I mean, it just is, that's the way it is. But, um, once you can say, well, well, once you can shut that door, Pete, right. And, and go on vacation. Um, I would suggest to people just to really, you know, go back to the, to the mindfulness that we talked about earlier in the year, you know, that self care, um, and being in the moment of you being on vacation, um, trying not to think too much about work or what you left at home, but just really, again, be more mindful about where you are right now in that moment and enjoy that, right? If you're on a beach or you're at Disneyland or whatever you're doing, yeah, you know, just really enjoying that moment. And when those thoughts come, and this is something I loved um, when we did that show about mindfulness, it's like, okay, you see them, you acknowledge them, but just let them go by, you know? Yep. Okay. I, yep. I, I, I know the email's waiting for me, but I'm going to go back to this because this is more important right now. Absolutely. One of the things that I'm going to do, um, when I go on vacation is I'm going to have a place to write my thoughts when they come, because I know as an entrepreneur, as much as I want to say, Oh, I'm going to like totally check out. (laughs) I'm not going to totally check out. I'm going to read something. It's going to inspire me for some kind of idea that I want to do next year. So I need to have a place to write those things. And so I'm going to put together, um, great ideas. That's going to be the, the list. Um, that's the title of it. And so when something comes to mind and I, I don't want to forget about it, I'm going to put it on this list and then I'm going to let it go. I'm going to put it on there and then I'll review it later, but I just want to document it. So I think that's a way to 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 kind of curve the ADHD. If you have a lot of thoughts in your mind, you got to get them out. Just have a place, excuse me, have a place for you to put those thoughts. Absolutely agree with that. I'm carrying my trusty field notes. There you go. Always in my pocket. There you go. If you're already in a really good um, exercise routine, don't let that go when you're on vacation. Uh, Still be very mindful of your eating. I know it's so easy to just, hey, I'm on vacation. I'm going to have, you know, all of this food in the Mm -hmm. buffet. (laughs) Um, But just really still being mindful of that. These are all factors on how, uh, how well you're able to relax, right? Like, can you get down to that level of relaxation? You're going to get there a little quicker if you're still exercising and eating well and taking good care of yourself. That's the, this is the one that, that hurts me the most on vacation. I, as much as I'm building good habits day to day, I have my routine and taking care of myself fits into the routine. As soon as I shake up the routine, everything falls apart and it takes that much more attention and rigor and reminder 
reminders and alerts and alarms to remind me, get up, get out of bed, go for that walk, go for that little run, like figure it out and, and create a new routine immediately when I start vacation. Because even I'm, we're taking two weeks off, even in two weeks, like it takes me a week to figure out what the vacation routine is. And by then I'm already kind of gearing up to go home. Right. So I have to be so attentive day one. What is my routine going to look like if I'm going to fit in the things that I need to fit in to take care of myself? Absolutely. Well, and I think that just going on a walk, you know, maybe you typically do these like, you know, CrossFit type of workouts, but instead of doing that on vacation, you're just going for a walk. I mean, you know, it doesn't have to be exactly the same, but I think what you're saying and what I agree with is just putting that intention behind it and thinking, okay, what do I need to do with with this next week? What is going to be the routine for the next week? And it doesn't have to be exactly the same, but something so that you're not, you know, completely falling off of it. Um, and you know, and if it doesn't happen every day, that's not a big deal either. You are on vacation, you know, three days is better than, than no days. So, you know, you can kind of plan for that as well. That ends up being okay. Uh, what, something that I, the, the last point that I have, um, and this is something that I've learned the long or the, the hard way is when you come back from vacation to give yourself a day off before you go to work again. So if you come home on Sunday, don't go right back to work on Monday, if possible, um, go back to work on Tuesday. If that is impossible and you have to, you know, you do have to come back to work on Monday, then I would, you know, if you can try to come back from vacation on Saturday and have Sunday as a day to transition back into reality because transitions are not always easy with ADHD. Oh, that's uh, right. <laughs> and transitioning from vacation back to reality can be just as hard as going from, you know, reality to vacation, right? Yeah. Um so just giving yourself a day to, you know, unpack and and you know, go to the grocery store, do laundry, whatever it is that you need to do. Maybe it's not even doing those things. Maybe it's just really sitting there in your living room just looking around like, okay, I'm Mm -hmm. back here. (laughs) What's next? You know, whatever it is. Um, but giving yourself some time because what's so stressful, what I have found is that whole, okay, I'm back on Sunday and I have to go back to work on Monday. I mean, it's that just, it's hard. That's hard. I mean, it's just hard. So yeah, it's terrible. I actually, I did that on my calendar. You know, I, people can book time with me directly on the calendar. It's kind of a hidden thing for my clients. You can jump in on my calendar and schedule time based on my availability. And this was something that I did this year that I haven't done other years because I know I'm going to need that time. I know I'm going to have to figure out, uh, you know, what comes next and, and need that day. I just made Monday unavailable. Mm-hmm. for for others because i'm not going to be good to anybody if i don't ha- give myself that day to plan absolutely yeah huge huge for me perfect yeah all right well speaking of vacation yes let's speak of it you and i are we're, we're going on vacation yes. not together because yes, we have no. two separate families yes <laughs> <laughs> but we are going on vacation in July. Uh, you're you're taking some time off, and I'm taking some time off, which means that we will be back in August. August. Ugh. August. The beginning of August will be our our next podcast back. So yeah, I think that's uh, August fifth is the first. Yeah. First yeah. Show so. This is a great time for listeners to catch up on uh, past episodes and. Um, you know, also don't forget, it's a great time to organize. So you want to check out that online training um, at Take Control ADHD as well. Um, But yeah, we're going to recharge and renew and and come back in August and uh, see where we go. Can't wait. Looking forward to it, especially the break part. I know. I'm ready. I'm ready for a little bit of downtime, I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is perfect. So, yeah, thank you, everybody, for listening uh, so far all year long. We are thrilled to have you come back week after week and uh, enjoy your break too. Listen to some new podcasts, and uh, but but not too many new podcasts because you want to keep room for us for when we come back next. Well, month. Yeah, yeah, don't forget about yeah, us. Yeah, don't forget about it. That's what I mean <laughs> by sign up for that mailing list. It's so handy if you if you uh, you know if you're cleaning out your podcasts uh, for the summer, make sure you subscribe to that mailing list. We'll send you an email as soon as we are back up. And and in the saddle uh, so that uh, you can start getting episodes again. That's it. That's it. That's it. Thanks, everybody. On behalf of Nikki Kinzer, I'm Pete Wright, and we'll catch you next month on Taking Control, the ADHD podcast.